So let's walk through Trump censorship, Twitter's right to ban Trump. The question is, should a privately owned, publicly traded company of this size, of this level of um, importance to the public, be able to restrict freedom of speech in a private space? The question to ask is, is Twitter a private space? Or is it more like a public square? And these are things that you can Google to learn more about. So the question is private space or public square? We have to make sure when looking at this issue to not be hypocritical or inconsistent. Meaning, if you're gonna apply this standard to Twitter, you need to apply it to similar companies, perhaps even all companies. But the key is there are a lot of factors in play when looking at their right or not their right to do this. And really when it comes down to it, we have the legal aspect of do they have the right? And we're separately gonna look at the morality and repercussions of Twitter doing this. So that's separate. If you feel that Twitter did the right thing or did the wrong thing, that's separate from Twitter's right. Private companies do not always have the right to do whatever they like. For example, discrimination laws are in place. Private companies can say, people bring up the, the example of no shirt, no shoes, no service, or we don't like your kind here, get out. I mean, yes, they can do that. Historically, that has happened, but that is why we have discrimination laws. There's a similar thing here. And the question is, where should we draw the lines and what level of government intervention is necessary? We had a phenomenal uh, attorney in one of our clubhouse rooms the other day discussing this and going extremely deep and obviously looking at things like section 230 that's another thing that keeps getting thrown around i've posted a couple great articles to my instagram if you're not following my instagram you should be but i'm posting a lot of that stuff there and the discussions that have taken place ultimately yes come down to is twitter going to get slapped or in trouble for this most likely not uh, they do have terms of service, but these terms of service are extremely subjective. We're forced to accept them and they get to sit there and make the, you know, decision to ban a person, whether they want to or not. There isn't a consistent concrete set of guidelines for Twitter or for social media companies or Google or Apple or any of those for that fact. Again, that's separate. So let's just leave it at this. And the final factor is there are factors to consider when looking at Twitter's right to ban Trump, things that we sh as a society should be talking about. You have to look at the size of the company, so the impact it has on society, the network effects, that's another important thing to Google and learn about, and the availability of other options. So if Twitter is the only platform that does what it does, which it essentially is, uh, where you can have access to anybody to tweet at them, to message them, and they can message the public. Well, what other options are there for someone? And these are the things to consider. Twitter's right. I believe they have the right. But do I think it was the right thing? Well, separate topic.